Space. What's your disposition toward free staters? For the best liberty oriented talk 24 7, visit lrn.fm. I wanted to update folks a little bit with regard to the status of NH Exit. So uh, there hasn't been too much activity, but some. And uh, the thing I was most amused by was that the House Speaker sort of denounced us. It was a roundabout sort of denunciation, but it, was, it appeared on WMUR. And I'll quote it for you. Uh, the headline reads, quote, Speaker Jasper calls on NHGOP to distance ourselves from Free State Project, unquote. And the quote re with relation to uh, independence was, quote, I think it is clear that I was talking about members of the Free State Project who believe that New Hampshire should secede from the Union and who do not believe in the values enshrined in the U.S. Constitution, unquote. So that was nice uh, to have, uh, to hear him uh, giving us a little more cred by denunciating, de de denouncing us. Although he seemed a little bit more favorably disposed toward Free Staters during this uh, ambush interview that I conducted of him around 2014. Actually, I think early 2015. What's your disposition toward Free Staters? Um, I don't really have a disposition towards Free Staters. You have a disposition toward the Republican Party and maybe the Green Party, right? Um, I, I think all points of view are welcome to the process. I'm a Republican, but I'm a I'm a traditional New Hampshire Republican. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. No, and you answer questions instead of just walking past me. So I appreciate it, all especially right. out in the cold with it. Yeah. hardly any any uh, jacketing on. Yeah, well, my jacket's in the in the car for when it actually gets cold. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's very New Hampshire. All right, thanks so much. Well, I'm probably going to be able to do it as a second year bill. And other developments, Caleb Dyer here has been getting a fair amount of grief for uh, granting me this interview in which he indicated he was planning to put forward a bill for New Hampshire independence uh, from the Union in, uh, I think, 2018. He's a state rep. And uh, in a more editorial sense, I wanted to remind some of you of one of the reasons why this is worth doing this independence business. A secession drive does not have to be successful in order to be successful. It's a Hail Mary pass that does not have to be caught. The important thing is actually going from the, the, the key difference is going from having a secession movement that is completely ignored or having no secession movement to having to being in a point where you have a secession movement which starts to affect government policy a little bit. At least it affects their level of caution in how they implement the policy. I don't like Freedom Radio Talk. Listening to LRN FM makes me balk. Far from it, I should probably walk. LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.